going to learn a lot about birds, nature, culture, and hopefully greet your fellow classmates here, the standard way of greeting here in Malagos. No? What do we say? Madayaw. Madarinig nyo? Sabi ng ibon? Sabi niya? Madayaw? Kasi nga, that's how we greet here in Malagos. Pero hindi ka nagpakilala sa sarili mo. Kindly introduce first your name. Sige, what is your name? Donald. Ano rin ang pangalan niya? Ha? Ang pangalan niya actually ay si Donald. No, may just lang lang yung bird namin. Ha? Pagpasensya niyo na po. But everyone, please meet Donald. Okay? Now, many of you might be wondering right now, no? How are birds able to talk? But actually, they do. No, what they're doing is what we call mimicking. Gawin niya? 
Aba, sing and dance daw yung gagawin ni Nigel. Now this is going to be interesting. Sing that music, please. Aba, very good, ha? Ayun. Oh, ha? Pa shoulder, shoulder pa, ha? Ayun, nahihiya. Nahihiya, nahihiya. Apo ka nang joke mo? Ayun. Kumanta pa. Anong kinanta niya? Ang tara, tara. Very good. A round of applause please for our lovely parents na sila Donald. And of course, Thank you so much to both of you. Ayan, very good. Now, si Kapitan po ay isang Philippine Hawk Eagle. Right? Not the Philippine Eagle, ha? Hindi din yung monkey eating eagle. They're different. Kasi alam nyo, yung mga Philippine Eagle, their wingspan reaches 7 to 8 feet. Ganun po kahaba. Ano pero pansin nyo naman itong si Kapitan, napakaliit na. Ah, but because of its facial feature, because of its color, Madalas, pag lumilipad yan sila kapitan ng the Philippine Forest, napagkakamalan mo silang mga Philippine Eagle. Right? Pero magkaiba po, no? Kung tignan nyo po ng maigi, napaka-layo uh, po nila sa mga Philippine Eagle. Now, since our topic is about bird diet, kung napapansin nyo, may kinakain si meat kapitan. And what they eat are actually meat and meat. So it could be rabbit, it could be snakes, lizards, fish, No, or even the small birds. Well, then, yung kinakain din nila. There's Brian. Kasi si Brian po ay isang Philippine Eagle Owl. Yeah, very good. Yung napakaganda tignan. But I'd like to explain kung ano yung ginawa ni Brian na paglipad from the window all the way down here. We actually call it a silent flight. Now, why silent flight? Because owls have this very fine set of feathers na pagka lumipad yan sila, halos wala tayong marinig. But that's how effective they are when they hunt, especially during the night time. Okay? Now at this point, I'm going to bring out classmates of Brian so that we can compare the owls that we have here in the Philippines. Okay? This time, I'm going to call Noah. Come on up, Noah. Yeah, we have Noah over here. Si Noah po ay isang common grass owl. Alright? Now, the third owl I'm going to bring out is Ina. Come on out, Ina. Ah, si Ina naman po ay isang Everest Cups owl. Okay? So, I have Noah on my right, Brian in the center, and then on my far left is Ina. Okay, now, let's compare the three. Kung pahin natin sila. Sino yung pinakamaliit? Ah, sino yung pinakamaliit? It's Ina. Correct. No, napakaliit po ni Ina. Actually, in the wild, ganun mo si yung mga Everest Cups Owl. Ganyan lang kung sila kalaki. No? Well, sa ano, pagka mag-full mag adult na yan sila, tutubo lang sila, pero napakaliit lang sila. Okay? Now, sino naman sa kanila yung may pinakamalaking mata? Who of them has the biggest eyes? Ha? Sino? Ha, hindi yung katabi nyo. Kung hindi si... Si... Si Brian. No? Tingnan niyo yung mata ni Brian, right? Napakalaki. Right? Okay. No, but, yan, nakikita niyo ba si Terry? Sa ating mga balcony area? Patawagin natin si Terry para mas makita niyo po ng malakita. Okay. Now, I'd like to explain, si Terry po ay isang Mindanao Tariktik Pondio. No? A Mindanao Endemic Group. Ibig sabihin, dito lang po sa Mindanao, makikita. So, if you're visiting from Luzon, or from Visayas, or from the other countries, well, you're very fortunate that you're able to see a Mindanao endemic tree. Kasi wala ho yan, no? So, doon sa Luzon, wala yan. So, nagdito lang po itong mga Mindanao Tariktik Pondi. But you know what? There's a sad story. No, kasi they are in a state of crisis nowadays. Why? Their population... Ah, okay. Now, kung kanina, kasi Okay. Now, question. Ano sa Tagalog ang hornbill? Ano sa Tagalog ang hornbill? Ka, 
Akalaw, correct. Eh, sa Bisaya. Ha? Akalaw pa rin. Okay. Very good. Now, I'm going to share to you one interesting characteristic of hornbills that they are actually very noisy. Napaka-ingay po yan nila. Huh? They're even called the clock of the forest. Why? Because at certain time of the day, 5 a.m., well, they love to hop or jump from one branch to the other. No, hindi lang sila basta lumilipad. No, they transfer places by also hopping in the branches. Okay? So the next time that you will be visiting the forest, pag may nakita kayong nag-hop sa mga branches or trees, baka hindi na yan unggoy. No, baka hornbill na yan, ha? So, tignan nyo ho ng maigi. Okay. Now, at this point, we're still in the topic of bird diet. So, I'm going to show you kung ano yung kinakain ng mga hornbills. So, I have here, Gerald. Tapos, may binibigay siyang pagkain. No? Binibigay na kay Bingo. So, ang tanong ko, anong pagkain yung binibigay ni Gerald? Ha? Anong binibigay niya? She's cursed? Hindi po, she's cursed. No? Yes, actually? May binibigay niya. Ha, 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 ha. Good. It could be a papaya. It could be. Yeah, maraming salamat po, Mr. J. Mabruhay of Madayao, everyone. My name is Liz, and I am very excited to be a part of your nature and culture experience today. By the way, my partner over here is Ruby, and Ruby is a red eclectus parrot. Something very interesting in the eclectus parrot family. Now, is for them, the green ones are the boys. So that is Ruby, the red one over here is a girl. Very good. Everybody, please say hi to my partner, Ruby. Ayan, hello rin daw po. Pasensya na po kayo. Ba't siya mahihain po talaga itong partner ko? But the girl, to be all the girl, everybody, hold it. Ayan, you can. Ayan, girl, it's a very good time. Welcome to our YouTube channel today. Rocky! gagawin pag may extra money tayo. So, Teacher Waki has three coin banks over here. One coin bank for bank for savings, another one for shopping, and another one for travel. So, sige nga, Teacher Waki, ano bang dapat gawin sa extra money? Nakasabi si Teacher Waki, mag-shopping round, mag-shopping ulit. Nako, Teacher Waki. <laughs> and the last one will be for travel. At meron pa po pala isa. Nako, mag-shopping round po ulit si what Teacher Rocky is showing us is what not to do with our extra money. Now, we want to share to everyone know that it is okay to indulge ourselves once in a while. Like travel, not food trips, not shopping, there's really nothing wrong with that. But always, bye everyone! Mm -hmm. Now, many are asking us, well, how are you able to make this beauty today? You know, my friend, right? Very colorful and very majestic to your hat. That is why it can be very tempting to just bring them home and make them our best. But of course, it is very important to stress that Makas has a certain know-how for us to be able to properly take care of them. So better to be responsible pet owners. Take Red here for example. Red has been donated to our doors 15 years ago. And since Red is from Brazil, we cannot release him back to Philippines for less. Now you might be wondering, may mga parrots po ba na endemic sa Pilipinas o dito lang sa Pilipinas makikita? The answer to that is yes. Two of which that we especially like to mention are the Gaia Bells.
Lord Jesus was praised 20 years already. So with that, for our final word, it's going to be Rookie is going to say to everyone, Goodbye! Tanghang salama to my butag na tong tanah.
Ten Kunte. Ay, ang dami. Terima kasih. 